So the president of El Salvador, Nayib Bukele, I think his name is pronounced, so he's recently had this really amazing idea on immigration policy. I'll read his post on X that he wrote. We're offering 5,000 free passports to highly skilled scientists, engineers, doctors, artists, and philosophers from abroad. This represents less than 0.1% of our population, so granting them full citizen status, including voting rights, poses no issue. Despite their small number, their contributions will have a huge impact on our society and the future of our country. So yeah, he's opening up the country to 5,000, only 0.1% of his population, to highly skilled workers that are going to improve the state of the country. Only 0.1% of the people will be immigrants to ensure that they keep their national identity and culture intact. Unlike what we are doing. People think this is some sort of positive thing for the, the world, even though this is just some guy in El Salvador. But I'm angry because just think about how easy it is. If our leaders wanted to do it, they could. Because we have this mass illegal immigration in Britain. We have it all coming on these boats. Now... The military could turn them back if they wanted to. If the Guatemalan military came over, somewhat armed, country knows they're a threat, the people aren't just gonna, the people of the country aren't just gonna accept the government letting them come in with military weapons. They're gonna send them back. They're probably gonna annihilate that military within an hour. So they could turn these boats back if they wanted to. They could stop the mass immigration if they wanted to. But they're making a conscious choice not to do it. They're letting it happen. So why do they let it happen? Now, I think it's pretty obvious. It's the whole problem, reaction, solution. They're creating a problem because when you create a problem, it's, it's then easy to offer a solution where the people then trade away their freedoms. In this case, it's going to be digital ID. So I'll run you through it. So you have a problem, mass immigration. That's then leading to increased crime. The violent crime's up, rape is up, these other problems, the economy, but that's got other variables. So then people get scared. Oh, I don't I don't want my children to be outside. I don't know if I should raise children in the country because all this crime. You're scared. Some people might even be scared for their own life. What's the solution? Digital ID, guys. Yeah, now we got digital ID. Good, great solution, right? Because now we can identify who's coming in. You know, we, somebody hypothetically couldn't just throw acid in people's faces, destroy their entire lives, and get away with it because now we have digital ID. So, great. But then you've just traded off your freedom. So don't don't you want both? Don't you want freedom and safety? They make it seem as if you have to trade one away for the other. Well, I have to give away my freedom, so they, I have to accept digital ID, let them blackmail me every moment, whenever they want. If you don't do this, we'll stop you from doing that. If you don't do this, we'll stop you from driving your car. Oh, you made this social media post. No more money for you then. Universal, basic, all this stuff, right? You give them away your freedom for the safety. So that's why they're creating the problem. Because why else are they creating the problem? If they're a leader, usually like, okay, I'm going to improve the state of the country. And they're going, no, because I've got other interests. Because they've obviously sold their soul to Davos and the Bohemian Grove gays. That's a good name. The Bohemian Grove gays. The Grove gays. Anyways, supposedly treason. Saying treasonous. These leaders are treasonous. Is a far right term. Someone posted, it was like the British army said that sign someone's far right. It might be a fake post, by the way. It is viewed as far right to say that the, the leaders are treasonous. But it's factual. Because if you can see something is having a incredible, incredibly negative impact in the country, and you're choosing to let it happen, choosing to, that's treasonous. You're destroying your country on purpose for other interests. Because the interests lie in the heart of Switzerland and Davos. Of course, Westminster, Westminster's going to have their way, so on. So what the El Salvador, El Salvadorian president is doing is unique, but it's also just common sense. We shouldn't be getting all excited about, oh, one leader out of the 197 countries isn't treasonous. This should show you the state of the world we're in, the state of politics. Suppose it, I said something like justice needs to be delivered. It was in an Andrew Bridgen reply. I was replying to him. And someone says, inciting violence, guys. I said, justice needs to be served. The people need to take it into their own hands. It was about COVID, because there's 10, 20,000 excess deaths in the UK. Inciting violence? Are you, are you implicating? Yeah, I am. I am, actually. Think about it. The French Revolution, they would behead the treasonous leaders. And please, please don't come to my door. You're, you shouldn't be my enemy unless you're going to enforce the evil actions of the state. But fine. Whatever. Do your thing. We hate you, though. I'm not going to comply with any of your evil orders. But yeah, 
why, what is this thing with inciting violence? Can you imagine? Hitler's your leader. You have Hitler. It's 1939. About to start World War Two. World, yeah, World War Two. And your your the people are like, nah, we need to bring justice into our own hands. You inciting violence? Damn right I am. <laughs> what are you talking about? Sometimes things need to be done to serve justice to the people. The, the leaders are treasonous. This isn't conspiracy theory. This isn't far right. This is facts. It's having negative impact. You want to get a digital ID as a solution so we can identify who's in the country and then they're going to ban the face coverings as well. That's another part of problem reaction solution. Problem increased crime. People are covering their faces. The illegal immigrants uh, are covering their faces to stay in the country. They're going to, we need to get rid of the face, the face coverings. We're going to ban them. We're going to stop everybody. Pay a fine. So then all of a sudden they have CCTV everywhere. You see, they have CCTV everywhere. You can't cover your face. They track you down. They decide you've committed a crime because you're not, well, the CCTV catches me. I'm not, I'm not a criminal. You're not a criminal until a tyrannical state takes power, which they already have. It's just a matter of time. And then decide you are, you are guilty of something. The EU, I think, are trying to pass a law, or already have passed a law, I don't know, saying that you cannot, ba- you cannot burn fire. You can't, I mean, you can't, you can't burn wood. In your garden. How are they going to know what I'm doing in my garden? Because you're going to fly drones over there. You're going to fly drones over your garden. You're a conspiracy. It's like, shut up. They're pushing the drones. They're putting cameras everywhere. It's not, no theory. They're going to do it. Because of climate change. Drones for climate change. Climate drones. It's happening. Right now. As we speak, they're building them. Anyways. So yeah. You're, you, you don't have anything to hide until you do have something to hide. Because they'll decide you have something to hide. Because they'll decide you're guilty of some crime. It'd be a totally normal thing to do. Oh, I, I burned wood so I could have some heat in my gut. Ten years in jail. But the hate speech. Ten years ago, you would say what you want to say. I don't have anything to hide. Now you do have something to hide. Because you're saying things like, I hate gay people. If you did say that. Of course, I wouldn't say that. I love the LGBT. I'm an ally. I'm an active member of their community. But yeah. Of course. So the El Salvador president, let's admit, it's treason. Let's kick these leaders out. Death to Westminster, Westminster. Same as Sally Lyons, I don't care. Anyways, if you want to become join the best freedom community, you get exclusive articles, you get me as a 24-7 contact, which, why wouldn't you want that? Um, in, in the future, get to have organised organized meetups, organised protests together. It's, it's only people, preferably in the UK, that are going to be at the forefront of this fight against the elite, against the new world order. Don't join if you're not going to fight hard. Join if you're serious about this. You want to take take power back into the people's hands. Not in a communist way. In a populist, Klaus Schwab-hating way. So yeah, join my membership. It's in the top reply, long live freedom.